flask, we have our water coming to a rolling boil. And that's why we have all this bubbling going on in here. I want you to note that we have a vent. And this vent is allowing excess steam to exit so that we don't have a buildup of pressure. You would understand that that would be dangerous. If the pressure built up in here, then the glass could explode and break. So we're venting some of this through this piece of tubing, which serves as a vent. One of the things you should also note is that we now have a colorless liquid on the side of the flask. Remember before what we had in here was a flask with a dry brown solid. But we're seeing now that we have colorless liquid on the side. We're also having liquid inside of the flask. So we now have this brown liquid on the inside of the flask. And of course you can imagine what that liquid is. I would want you to think about where this liquid has come from. I want you to note in here also that we're having some bubbling in here. And as our vapors are delivered into this mixture, because we now have a mixture of clove powder and these, this colorless liquid, which I think you can all know what it is by now, we're having bubbling happening in here. And this bubbling is serving two functions. This bubbling that is coming as the vapors condense is agitating the mixture. So that is allowing our mixture to get well mixed to better allow our separation to occur. The second thing is as these vapors cool and condense, it actually heats this flask. So this flask is actually quite hot to the touch. So we're noting that the flask is hot to the touch, even though we are not directly heating the flask or its contents, the condensing steam is heating the flask. Now as the process continues, vapors of our mixture, remember that this is clove powder from which we want to extract clove oil, so the vapors, and what do you think are in the vapors leaving? Well in here, I have clove oil mixed in with my solid clove residue, and I also have water. Remember that oil and water are immiscible, and if we re recall what we did in class in theory, as this mixture is heated, the clove oil water mixture itself vaporizes, and you should be able to, as part of your discussion, explain why it vaporizes. It vaporizes and the vapors leave, enter the condenser, and I want you to note in my condenser, we can see on the inside here, we have droplets on the inside, and you should be able to see liquid dropping off here, which is being collected in our beaker.